Britt and Sarah, today we learned that it was DJ Hernandez's mother, his soon-to-be ex-wife, and his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend who warned police that Hernandez could be a threat to society. Her concerns were many, mostly that she wanted him to get help. Terry Hernandez told police she was threatened by her son, Dennis, DJ Hernandez, in the past. Mr. Hernandez expressed that Mr. Hernandez's mental health um, diagnoses were that of bipolar and schizophrenia, and that in the past he had threatened the victim. Bristol police were already investigating reports that Hernandez was allegedly mapping out school shootings at UConn and Brown University, where he once coached. But after a Florida divorce attorney for his estranged wife flagged a threatening social media post, police moved in on the former QB last month. A uh, threat to kill her, and I believe open court down in Florida. He was posting photographs of them, their faces with targets on their head and threatening to kill them. Officer Zachary Levine on stand Tuesday before Judge Tammy Gathers granted a protective order for Hernandez's wife. Get down the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down the ground. Body camera shows the moments officers moved in on Hernandez two weeks ago. That he was armed and that he would kill us if we tried to approach him. During a psychiatric hold at the hospital for Central Connecticut, Hernandez allegedly still making threats. That he intended to kill his wife upon his release. A public defender assigned to Hernandez questioning witness credibility. Her ability to tell the truth, anything about her history? No. Thank you, Your Honor. And Hernandez was transported here today. He remains in custody and is facing separate federal charges in these matters. We're live in New Britain. I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.